In this video, we're going to practice writing off invoices. And the exercise we're going to follow along with is over here on the right side of my screen. This is pulled from our Advanced Level Pro Advisor Certification course, which if you would like more information about that course after we go through the exercise, be sure to click on the link below in the description. Let's dive right in and read through our scenario today. Craig did some gardening work for Cookies by Kathy. It has been over 60 days and she still hasn't paid her invoice. After many attempts in trying to collect, Kathy finally admitted that she is going out of business and wouldn't be able to pay. Because Craig is an accrual-based business, he has already reported the accounts receivable as income, so he can't just delete or void the invoice. Instead, Craig will need to write off the invoice in QBO and record it as an expense. So to do this exercise, you will need to be in the sample company. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company over here on the left side of my screen. This is what we will be working in for this exercise. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's take a look at Craig's balance sheet so that we know how the current invoice is reflected there. To get to the reporting center, we need to, from the left navigation bar, click on reports. The left navigation bar is over here. Reports is about halfway down. Go ahead and click on that when you find it. And again, we are running a balance sheet. So click on balance sheet that is here in the favorites. It's also in the business overview section. Either one is fine. Just once you find it, go ahead and click on balance sheet, and you will see it is already being run for us. Now, because the invoice has not yet been paid, and because Craig is using accrual accounting, the $75 is already considered income. So to see this, let's look at the accounts receivable or AR total. To get there on the accounts receivable AR line, we want to click on $5,281.52. That is right here, you see that line, and here is that amount. Go ahead and click on that. When you do, you will see an expanded um, detail of everything in the accounts receivable. But first, there is this little pop-up. You may have gotten this. Um, if you get it, just go ahead and click out of it. QBO is currently changing over all of the view of their reports from classic view to modern view. And so this is just saying that this report is in modern view and just giving you a little overview of it. So go ahead and click out of it if you get that pop-up. Now to ensure that we include all accounts receivable invoices, let's change the date range to all dates. So we're gonna click on the down arrow next to custom dates and then select all dates. Custom dates is right here, so click on that down arrow and then select all dates. And when you do, the report will automatically update, but let's sort this a little bit easier for us to find Kathy's invoice. We're going to click on name to sort the transactions alphabetically. So name is right here. Go ahead and click on that. And now you will see all of the customer names in, um, in alphabetical order. So let's scroll through the air report and find the Cookies by Kathy outstanding $75 invoice. So if you scroll down to the Ks, there it is, um, invoice 1016. And my screen is very, very shortened, so uh, you may not have to scroll over, but it is this one for $75. Now, before we can write off this invoice, we need to set up an account that will track the bad debt expense. So we need to get to the chart of accounts to do this. We're going to click on accountant tools and then select chart of accounts. Accountant tools is up here on the top part of the screen. Go ahead and click on that and then under quick links, select chart of accounts. Let's go ahead and create that new bad debt account. Uh, we're going to click on the new button. That's the green button right here. When you do, you will get this little pop out of, to create the new account. This is going to be an expense. So we wanna click on the expenses icon right there. In the save account under field, select expenses. That's the one it's going to be under. So click into that box and it's going to be saved under expenses. And then in the tax form section, we want to select bad debts. So go ahead and click into that box and you will see bad debts towards the top. Go ahead and select that. 
Finally, we need to name this account. So in the account name field, we want to type bad debts. Click into that box, go ahead and type bad debts. And then we are all good here. All we need to do now is just click on save. That's the green button down here on the bottom right corner of the sample company. Go ahead and click on that. And now the new account has been created. Now let's use the write-off tool to write off that outstanding invoice. So to do that, we're going to click on account tools once again, and then this time select write off invoices. So go ahead and click on account tools once again. And then under tools, you want to select write off invoices. Now in the invoice age field, let's go ahead and select accounting period. So click on that down arrow and then select accounting period. And then in the balance less than field, let's type 76. Remember this invoice was for $75. So we can't put $75 because it's looking for things that are less than. And since 75 is the same as 75 on the invoice, it's not gonna pull up in the search. So let's uh, do in the balance less than field, click into it and type 76. And then we are going to click on find invoices, the green button right here. Go ahead and click on that. And you will see a couple invoices appear for us um, from the search. We want to click on the checkbox next to cookies by Kathy. So go ahead and do that. That's this last one right here. Go ahead and select that. When you do, you will see this write off button has now turned green. This is what we want it. Uh, this is what we want to click next. So go ahead and click on it. You'll get this little pop up here. We need to uh, uh, mention or we need to put the write off invoice to a certain account. And so in the account field, we're going to select bad debts. That's the one that we just created. So you can click the down arrow and scroll down until you find it, or you can click into the box and type bad debts, which I would recommend because it's a fairly long list. So go ahead and uh, once you find it, click on it, and then you want to click on the green apply button. And now it is showing as that invoice has been written off. Now let's go back and check our reports and see how this changes things. So to get back to that reporting center from the left navigation bar, click on reports. Once again, that's about halfway down on that list. Go ahead and click on it. And then we are going to run that balance sheet once again. So click on the balance sheet right here. And then in the account on the accounts receivable line, we're going to click to our $5,206.52. So here is that line right here. Go ahead and click on the amount to get the details of that account. Now let's make sure that we uh, get all of the uh, invoices for the accounts receivable invoices. Um, so let's um, go ahead and change the date range to all dates. So click on that down arrow next to custom dates and then select all dates. Once again, that report is going to uh, automatically refresh for us. Let's sort it a little bit quicker or a little bit easier so that we can find uh, Kathy's invoice. We're going to click on the name to uh, click on name, excuse me, to sort transactions alphabetically. So once again, click on that. And now all of the customers are so sorted alphabetically. Let's scroll down until we find cookies by Kathy. So scroll down. You can see that it is showing right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that invoice. So click on 1016 next to her name. Go ahead and do that. And when you do, the invoice is going to appear. There it is. <laughs> and you will notice that uh, a discount has been applied to the invoice. You can see that down here. It says discount value, which is like the amount of dollars for it. It's saying it's 75. Um, so the balance due is zero. So it is showing as um, this is how you can see that it has been written off. But let's go ahead and click on the X to close out of this transaction now that we know what it would look like after you have written off an invoice. Click on the X on the top uh, right corner of the screen. And finally, let's take a look at the profit and loss and see how this changes things. So from the left navigation bar, we're going to once again click on reports to get back to that reporting center. Once you do that, we are going to this time run a profit and loss. So click on profit and loss that is here in the favorites and it's also here in the business overview section. Click on profit and loss and it will be run for you. 
Now let's make sure that we get everything captured in here. So let's change the report period field to all dates. So in the report period field, select all dates right back at the top. Here's report period. Click on that down arrow and then select all dates and then go ahead and click on run report. Now this time you will notice that there is now a line item for bad debts with a total of $75, which is the value of Kathy's invoice. So I'm gonna scroll down here. We have all of the income accounts first, then all of the expense accounts. Here is bad debts right here. And here is that $75 um, for Kathy's invoice. Now the write-off tool, as a final note here, the write-off tool does not adjust sales tax and should therefore not be used if the original invoice included a sales tax item. It should also not be used if the transaction is in a closed period. Instead, you would want to use a credit memo in these cases. This is covered in another exercise called writing off invoices with a credit memo, which there will be a link for this below in the description if you would like to do that one next. Um, but that is it. That is how you would write off invoices. Now, if you like this exercise and you want to do more like it, or if you would like more information about the Advanced Level Pro Advisor Certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description, and I will see you in the next exercise.